Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the 155th episode of Twisted Strands. My name is Jeannie, or you can call me JD. I don't care. Uh, this episode is brought to you by my heavy breathing after climbing up a flight of stairs and a new cider I'm trying. This is Stella Artois Cider, Premium Cider. It's a pretty common brand, but it's a a big step up from the Michelobes and Coors Light and all that shit. And it is bad, that other stuff. It will not touch my lips. <laughs> That's my second sip of the day, and I can say, this is another surprising winner. It is crisp and refreshing and not too heavy. It is lighter than the common ciders, that hard ciders that you see out there on the market today, like Angry Orchid, Orchard, Orchard. I'm fine, really. I've only had a few sips of that. <laughs> so anyway, fall has finally started showing its pretty cool weather face in New Jersey and I am very happy with that. Uh, for the past two nights I didn't even need to have my fan blowing on me which is uh, nice. I like it. I like saving a little electricity when I can. Now, for new yarns, I keep forgetting to show y'all this, and that's a pity because it's really beautiful. It is by Cuppy Cake Yarns, and it is the Java Blue 2 Self Striping, 75% Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon, and... I've been wanting something like that for a while. I mean, it's a fingering weight, of course. And yes, it will be socks, because you can never have too many socks. I've learned much to my dismay that socks do wear out. And that just, there, there's your reason why people keep buying sock yarn and making socks. Right, Cleo? She's struggling. I was stash diving. And there's stash everywhere to my left. <laughs> but anyway, that is a recent addition. I also managed to nab a pretty mixed fat fiber box. And while I don't agree with the owners, I do love all the samples that come with the box so that's why I purchased it and I will show my favorites next week hopefully I'll have it Wednesday or Thursday so I'll have a ta chance to look through it all and speaking of more fiber I haven't started spinning a new project yet but I'll show you why I purchased a set of wool combs from the Woolery, which I think is a nice shop. You should give it a shot if you don't have a nice fiber store near you. Speaking of a fiber store, but they're going out of business, which is pretty sad because they're per really good people. All About You is closing. It's been closing. It's towards the end of days for them. And I did go and buy a bunch of stuff. And this was one of it. This is Finn, the breed of sheep, and washed locks. And I took my cones from the woolery. And I transformed fiber that looked like this. Of course, you can't see it all that well. But I transferred this as VM and crap like that. into spinnable fiber. This represents most of a whole day of work for me in 
combing and pulling out the fiber from the combs that I thought was usable. Now, I might have to remind you that I am pretty much a beginner with this stuff. So, of course, it's not perfectly even, but it's really so much better. You'll be able to, I'll be able to draft it, and the fibers will slide cleanly away from each other, and that is why we comb. And I got several little puffs. There's still a little lanolin in it, which made my hands feel cool. I really liked the feeling of the lanolin in my hands. And I ended up with just as much crap <laughs> that was too short and too matted against itself. Nebs, or nubs, I think they're called. But look at that! I think I did well for a bunch of novice wool combing project. I will keep doing it. But I'm taking a break from it today, this, for a little while, because I did a lot and I made my arm sore. Nothing like the tendonitis I was suffering from, but it's clear that I need to take a fiber break. Maybe just read all about knitting or something like that. But I did manage to finish something. Zip! I finally finished my boardwalk shawl, and I love it. See? Metal and Tosh and Gramercy. So this is awesome. I've finished weaving in the ends, but I have to snip, snip the ends off and then wash it and just lay it flat to dry. And I'm really happy with how this came out. Now, this is something of a lesson for everybody. Now, you can probably easily see that the yarns are a different dye lot. You can see that, can't you? Because I can. And I'm looking across the screen. It's the same color, same store. I did not have the presence of mind to ask for this I am dial up, but the first scheme that I used right here was a prize from Eat Sleep Knit, so I don't think they would have had the yarn in the same dial lot. So I just forged ahead and I think it looks pretty cool this way, don't you? Anyway, I'm real pleased with the, both the pattern. When I had a derpy question to ask of the designer because I wanted some clarity on the last few bits, she did answer me within the day. So kudos to Sarah pa Punderson. So yeah, I recommend that pattern. It's easy and fun. Excuse me. And it knits really quickly. So, wonderful, very happy. Gonna snip off the ends, wash it, and wear it. Because that project is so large and there's no lace to open up, you simply lay it flat to dry it. No wires needed. So, other than the fun with the spinning stuff and, well, let's see, I bought a bag and I bought the fat fiber box, but I'm phasing out purchasing crap until next, this coming rhyme deck. <sighs> let's hope I can keep to that promise. Anyway, so what's up? Next for me, I'm going to keep working on my plain socks that I haven't touched in a week or two. And I am going to finally start the beautiful calligraphy cardigan by Hannah Fettig. That's what I'm going to start in the beautiful blue. 
I don't think I can grab it with my hands. I am sorry. Oh, wait, here it is. I'm gonna use this gorgeous Madeline Tosh DK in the stargazing colorway. So that'll be cast on this week. Promise. And there's also another knit that I discovered while looking through my... Damn, where the hell did I put it? No, that's not it. Home. Patch. There it is. Now, I saw this beautiful, cute little toy. I'm just going to... Ah, thank you, good reader. I saw this really cute toy that Diane of Knittables had knit up, and I thought, oh my god, that is the cutest damn thing I've ever seen. And it's called Patch. And it's by Susan Claudino. And I've got to make this. I need to make this. Will you balance out, you stupid film camera thing? Anyway, it uses any weight yarn you want. And I do believe I have a bunch of different weights of yarn, but I I think I'm going to use worsted. But I really think this is so sweet. And it's patched by Susan Claudino. And you can see Nittables, her version of it. It's just so cute. It's got little leaves for arms and, no, for hands and feet. I mean, how can you resist that? It's like a little pumpkin came to life. Pee. Anyway. I'm such a goof. I love it. So, I'm going to try and fit that in with the sock knitting and the other things that I've got going on. So, anyway, there we go. That's my two plan knits to start this week along with finishing. I haven't touched my doiling. I haven't touched the socks. I will. <laughs> I will, of course, spin something. Uh, but that's about it for my craftiness. I, I work every once in a while on my cross stitch, but not enough to really show a great example of how much I've worked on it. Which is not a lot. And so, let's see. What's on the plate? Let's go into stuff and junk, shall we? As you can see, the ease of knitting the boardwalk crawl helped me to watch both Doctor Who and a lot of Supernatural. I am up to season six. What has happened? Sam Gut is you know what back from hell. So there you go. <laughs> and there was some really hilarious scenes with Castiel the Angel <laughs> watching a porno. It was hilarious. Cause yeah. <laughs> I recommend Supernatural if you like things that are both interesting and scary but funny if you're not into who uh, blah <laughs> supernatural things i recommend doctor who because those are my two running favorites what else i watch is mostly clip shows i'm a big fan of tosh by no and south park so i watch those and now what else have i been doing just working. Still at the same old job. Uh, it's going well. My bosses are very sweet people and kind. <sighs> Not terribly busy there, but that's fine by me. I'm pretty good at occupying myself. <laughs> A little bit too good. <laughs> Wanna see my crust it? No, sorry. <laughs> Now that I've got all these technical things that I can carry along with me, I can read, I can draw, I can check Facebook, which I do quite often. I also play Sims Free Play. 
So if you're on Facebook and you play Sims Free Play, feel free to add me as your friend. I am JD Huff on Facebook. It's probably listed in the end credits. So that's about it. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to spending at least half a day at Rhinebeck. I love going there and meeting all my friends. I'm probably going to the Ravelry meetup. I'm not sure if anybody's doing a podcaster meetup. I will put up a thread if nobody has so I can meet some of you anyway. I'm going with Bridget. We're going to meet up there because she drives up from Connecticut and or is it sideways? You know, she drives south West and I drive northwest. So, anyway, we'll see you there. I hope. Wish you could be there. I hear Sadie's gonna make an effort and be there. I hear one of the girls who does Knit One Geek 2. That's pretty awesome. So, that'll be nice. There will be more people to meet. And that's it for this week. I am sorry, I don't have much. It happens. The short episodes, they happen. So before I get distracted by patterns and gauge swatches and other fun things, I shall let you go so that you can, I don't know, watch TV or something and knit. (laughs) Do some spinning. Learn to weave. It's fun. I always recommend everybody explore their creative side. And with that... When uh, blah blah a uh, blah blah yada yada blah. Sorry. <laughs> Whenever you do crafts, whether you're making toilet paper owls or the finest lace Shetland shawl, you are making the world a more beautiful place. And for that, I thank you. Cheers. Nah.